Hi everyone, it's Patty Marie with Patty Marie Art. Welcome back to my channel and thank you. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I just flooded this canvas as eight and a half, uh, 11 by 14, not eight and a half. <laughs> I just did an eight and a half by 10, so I got that on my mind. This is an 11 by 14. I already flooded it with white paint. I have leftover paint here. That is all um, Artist Loft and I pre-mixed it um, or made my own colors. This is like a navy, dark navy blue with royal blue and metallic black. This is royal blue. This is like a turquoise mixed with these two colors, the aqua green and the royal blue. Got this beautiful turquoise color. And then just white and the aqua green got this beautiful winter green color. And they're all mixed with Floetrol water um, and silicone. And then I'm also going to use red today. Um, also mixed with Floetrol and silicone and water. This is just house paint. This is a little, little thing of house paint and water. And then in my squirt bottle is just Floetrol water and white Artist Loft paint. So my, my my thought is just to do a um, blow dryer blowout. Um, just expanded it a little piece of dust here. See if I can get those out. So yeah, I'm just gonna touch this up a little bit, seeing little pieces where the canvas is covered. I don't know how I missed that, but it happens. A little bit more paint right here. I'm gonna use these colors. Find out a little bit better. no idea I'm just gonna wing it go with it and see how it happens see how it goes um, so yeah I'm going to do it reverse this time because I've been using the lighter color at the top and I want to do it reverse now and do the darker colors up front um, So yeah, let's get started.
Okay. This looks pretty cool. I want to go out this way, this way. my uh, tip in there for my that looks really cool I like that all right so let me do this again here
Okay, so I love this one right here. This one I jacked up because I touched it. So what I'm gonna um, kind of mix with the mess with this composition just a hair. Um, Cause I really, I got it stuck in there twice and then I <laughs> blew it out over here, it dripped. Let me just kind of mess around with this for a little bit. See if I can salvage this. This one looks amazing. I just, I love it. That was salvageable. That's looking cool too. Woo! All right, I'm gonna blow this out a little bit more. Yeah, it goes. Watch for your bending over, right? Clipped that bottom part right there. Well, uh, I think what I will do, ooh, this looks like a person's face. Holy mackerel, this looks like a fish right here. <laughs> wow gonna mess with that. Blow this out right here. Wow. That looks awesome. I do want to fix this though. This is called all wonky here. That's looking better. I want to put something up here. So I think I'm going to blow this out a little bit here. Even though I like this, I want it to come forward just a hair. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna keep on messing with this just a hair. That looks awesome. I really liked how this turned out. 
It's really different. I'm gonna blow these two in together. I want them to intersect a little bit. So I'm gonna blow this out. with it anymore. I think that looks beautiful. A lot of cells, mostly a lot of lacing. Um, this kind of got a little bit of mud right there. This did too, but that's okay. I really like how that turned out. So let me have you come down for a close-up Okay, here we go. These colors, wow. Here's the lower left hand corner. We have a lot of lacing. These greens and reds together, I really like that. This is the upper left. Look at all that lacing right there. Not the lacing, but the cells. This is not how I thought it would turn out, but you know, it's it's always a um, a nice surprise, you know. Oh, that looks like a horse right there. That red portion that was the middle, and then the lower right hand side. This is the one that went all walky on me, but that's all right turned out really well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this dries. 